<laughs> Alright, here we go. Into a good setup position. Get the ball nice and far forward. I heard the sound, so we're well connected. Okay, now watch this. <laughs> that one was a slight pull, draw. <laughs> I hit the range like I promised. I gotta draw my round. Okay, now watch this. So this particular head is set up a little bit shut for my liking. Somebody should have started the clock on me to see how fast I can do this. I feel like I'm in the army putting my gun back together. <laughs> I'm going to move a couple of clicks to the right, so I'm going to open the face. Tighten that up as much as I can with my hand, use my wrench. The first time in my life I've used a wrench, by the way. My wife will vouch for that. Turn it until you get the click and see the light. See the light? Okay, here we go. Would it change from day to day, depending on conditions? Well, I think this is the interesting part of this technology is, you know, as you know, your, your swing, every day you wake up feels a little different, you know. And that's one of the things that's so frustrating, especially for me as a perfectionist, is that, you know, I expect to hit balls until the sun goes down tonight, and then tomorrow morning when I wake up for it to be exactly the same, and it never is. For 22 years now, it's really bugging me. But, you know, I'm starting to come to the realization that that's not going to change. It's just unfortunately the way it is. And that's why I think with technology like this, you can tweak it here and there. I mean, you're moving in, what is it, is it an eighth of a degree? It changes the amounts that you're moving it as right, you move around. It's plus or minus two degrees in all directions. So literally four degrees difference. Yeah. So, um, yes, I do think you can change it a little bit here and there, depending on how you feel. So let's see how this goes now that I've changed the position of uh, the angle of the head. See how that ball went a little higher and it's got a slight fade on it. That's all because I opened the face two clicks. You should go buy one of these. <laughs> 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 if you don't believe me, I'll do it again. A lot of you here in the audience teach. And these two here have swing coaches that they work with, and so when they're making swing changes, they can adjust the club to fit those swing changes without changing golf course. Because once they get settled in on a club that they like, they really don't want to change. You know, they're comfortable with it, they're playing competitive golf with it, so oh, yeah. this technology here makes it our jobs in the field so much easier. Is the tournament legal? Is the tournament legal? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Not really, just but on the masses, but I'm telling you. His wasn't glued shut? <laughs> yours, yours wasn't glued shut? She's giving you a hard time. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> to, to answer your question, his masters was bonded, yes. Okay. Mine was glued, yes, because we were in, you know, <laughs> prototype stage. Prototype stage. Uh, and so, obviously, we had so many great results with it. I won, KJ won. Um, who else won? With Anthony. It? Anthony Kim won a couple you times. You should get a job for them. Well, they pay me quite well. <laughs> okay, so now I've shut the face. You can see how easy this is. I promise you I've never used a wrench in my life before. My dad never even used to let me mow the lawn in case I cut a finger off. Those are valuable hands. So now I've shut the face. Um, I'm two clicks to the left of neutral, Rick. So the face is going to be shut. So if I can make the same swing... We should see this ball go to the left. Ready? Cross my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Nice little draw. Wow. Wow. I like it. I like it. Yeah. How was it set up for the match?